Hello, hello, welcome to this channel. This is Alfred. Here we will be logging in our voltage value to a CSV. So something like this, it will, it will just log all the voltage values here. Uh, we are not doing too much, we're not logging in time or anything, just the voltage value, just to show you what, you know, what it looks like. So let's go ahead and close out of this. Okay. So again, we will be looking at this LabJack device or configuration. So we will be generating the voltage here and we will be logging the voltage here. Make sense? So here is what we have here. When we, this is actually a, a, a second part of the previous video that I uploaded where you can only read the values. Mm, okay, we can actually change this to find any T7. So over here, like we did from the previous video, over here we are opening and uh, opening this any T7 device that the the program finds connected on your computer. It will open it and use it. Our pin digital analog converter that we will use is the zero, and the value that will will be generating on this pin will be three volts then this is our register name for the analog input zero so we'll be reading from this so this time we are adding our results to a list of strings in order to append it all to a file that's why we used list of strings to add all our results and uh, here we are actually writing the three volts to this pin and this is the same thing we did from the prior video but a few things are different in the sense that we still have our result double but this is just our one result then what we do when we read the value we get the results here so this is how to read the value from labjack and this is the analog input name which is analog input zero then we read the result comes here so what do we do we actually add so this is a, uh, this is the list of string so we add the result into our list of string and um, we also display the result wait for a second and just keep doing this whenever our whenever we press any key that that will be the uh, that will be the time that our program saves all the results from the list of value saves it to a file and we are just calling it a log.csv and it will just save it to our debug bin and uh, we also wait and see what the value looks like so let's go ahead and try this and see what it looks like so now we are reading three volts three volts and I am going to press the key. It should save this log file in our bin folder. So let's go ahead and open our bin folder, debug, and here you go. That's that's our file. So when we go ahead and open it, so. So that's our file. So as you can see, we are in a 2.99. The reason why our console, our console file, let's see. I don't know if you could see. The reason why our console file shows 3.00 is because we are rounding the value to two decimal places. That's why we are seeing two, you know, zero zero. You know what? Let's go ahead and you know show that so that let's show up to five decimal places so that you can see that we are not doing any funny businesses here you go so now we are at five five decimal places and now you could see all the resolution on your 2.993 and it does um it does fluctuate just due to the nature of um the signal so let's go ahead and press any key on the keyboard and when we go to our folder bin so if i write 
click here, go to open folder in File Explorer, go to a bin debug, and if you double click here, you see we can see all our as you can see we could see all our you know readings. So yeah, that's essentially it. Um, the few new things that we added uh, added on on this video is absolutely definitely this guy. This is responsible. We use the file um, system dot io to save our files to uh, log file log um, log the CSV. And this LJM, this is essentially our LabJack using our LabJack library, and this LabJack library is reference on our project which is this guy right here so we are we are referencing it and uh, and that's it a very uh, very simple and easy to use as long as you have it so as, as you can see we are this is the only this is the only line of code that is performing all of this and you, this could be useful in so many ways so hope this was um, helpful if you like it, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. Thank you and have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.